Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Let's just get straight into it. I'm going to save my happy birthdays for my Love and Hip Hop Miami review, I guess. Okay. So, let's see. We meet a new character, light skinned Keisha. Um, and who, after, you know, hearing her talk and, you know, knowing a little bit about her, I like her. I like light skinned Keisha. The only thing that I'm confused about is that Keisha's not light skinned. Now, somebody had to say it. So I said it. Um,. She says that the reason her name is Light Skin Keisha is because she grew up with a lot of Keishas in her neighborhood. And her name was Light Skin Keisha because I guess she was the lightest one. So my question to the people in the neighborhood is, is everybody, like, is everybody got bad vision like me? Is everybody visually impaired or what? Because you may have been the lightest out of all the other Keishas in the neighborhood. But that don't make you light, the light skin. That, that just make you a little lighter than the rest of them. You, you brown skin. Say, now look. <coughs> I put it on Twitter. I said, why is light skin Keisha named light skin Keisha and she is brown skin? Same way they have an Asian doll. She is black, not Asian. These new school rappers kill me. I tweet about the show. You know, just whatever my opinion is, I'll tweet about it. Um, and, you know, most of the time it's just for my notes, though. But people don't really know that. But I, it's for my notes, you know. But, yeah, so some people say, you know, she's every bit of brown skin Keisha. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, Island underscore Barb said, like, Big Sean. Um, and that nigga's little as hell. Right? Um, let me see. Somebody said they said I'm racing skin complexion fluid. Uh, Chalk713 said dark skin Deborah <laughs> would be more fitting. <coughs> now, look, some people saying that she is light skin. Let's, uh, somebody said Bug Eye Beauty said. What is brown skin? Like, ain't we all brown skin? Some just light brown and some is dark brown, right? Well, yeah. But, I mean, this is not the verbiage that, that we use. I mean, we could go back and forth with that. Um, white people are not technically white. Most of them, they're not like white, white. You know, they're more pink or beige. Or some of them beige, some of them pink. have pink undertones. Some, some of them have an olive undertone. Do we call them olive people? Do we call them pink people? No, we call them white people. So, you know, I mean, hey. You know, and you know, it's not like a light skin, dark skin debate. It just doesn't make sense. There's a lot of rappers out there with names that don't make sense. You know? This is just one of them. Not trying to, you know, put her out like she's the only one or whatever, trying to come for her. No, but it, it doesn't make sense. So I went to her Instagram. So tell me something. Okay. So I'm going to show you some pictures of her. Okay, that's one. Two. Three, some IG. Pretty girl. And let's do another one. Let's 
floor. She logged on some dude at the Waffle House. <laughs> I think she was just playing though. Okay, now y'all see her, right? Medium brown skin tone. You know, she's on the lighter skin side of brown skin, but she's brown skin. Okay, now let me show you some other pictures. Now, these are some other pictures of her. Now, what is this? How 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 I switch up that quick? Oh, it's just light in. How? Well, my light won't even pick it up. How? From the pictures I just showed y'all. Now, what is it for real? No shade. I don't know the girl, but I do like her. She seems really cool. Um, but she kind of got the complexion of somebody who bleaches. I'm just saying. Not saying that she do. I'm sure she don't. But she kind of got that thing going on. I don't know. She, sh she should have been named something else. Like... I I don't know. What do y'all think about that? It's, it's, it's different shades. It's different, you know, whatever. We could, you know. Whatever, y'all. How, how y'all feel about the whole thing? I see a brown seeing girl, but that's that's me. That's, that's just me. But we're going to let it go. Anyway, like I said, even with all that said, I do like her. I think she's talented. I think she's pretty. I do. I know it might not seem like it, but I do. She hangs with um B Simone and Pretty B and stuff. Yeah, some of her photos are really see that's not her skin tone. No, that powdery skin No. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, um, Light Skin Keisha is an, a rapper, and she has a partner, I believe it's her boyfriend too, and also her um, music partner. Um, they seem like a power duo together. Um, they have a conversation with Young Jock, um, you know, and, and Shekan is there as well. Um, and... We found out that there's a little beef between Young ja between Light Skin Keisha and Young J and and Lil Scrappy. Y'all know Lil Scrappy and Jock is cousins or whatever. I don't even know if they're real cousins, but whatever. Y'all know black folks, child. So um, she was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Jock." It was like, you know, he had my music on my Instagram on the Instagram, and then all of a sudden he took it off. But uh, well, um, Jock was just like, well, "Well, what's going on? What's going on with you and Lil Scrappy?" It was like, I don't know, you know, it's just, a, you know, a mess, you know, I don't care for his girl or whatever, talking about the bam. And it was just like, oh, the bam is cool. But um, she said, apparently, you know, he just act real funny when he around her. They've said that before, that Bambi act, that scra Lil Scrappy acts differently, differently when he's around Bambi. Erica Dixon said the same thing. Um, and I believe that. Uh, I don't like Bambi. So I'm automatically going to be on, on uh, I try not to take sides, but I'm going to be on um, Light Skin Keisha's side um, this season when it comes to Baby. I just feel like Baby just has a nasty attitude. She's had a nasty attitude for no reason since Basketball Wives. And it's, it hasn't changed. It's just concealed. But, you know, it's coming right back on out, child. Especially now for Baby finally to have a storyline and for this stupid shit to be her storyline. It, it's ridiculous. We're going to talk about it. Um, and uh, like Skin Keisha, she was just like, look. I'm just going to start calling her Keisha because I, I can't. Uh, it, look, if she actually was light skin, fine, beautiful, amazing. That that, that wouldn't be no issue. It would, it would make sense. Maybe I need to stop talking. I just um, had some sanitizer in my hand. I just slapped it. It just splattered on my face, child. So let me let me not lick my lips, child. 
So anyway, it, if it was what it was, it would make sense. But but to, to me, I don't get it. But it don't matter for me to get who am I? I ain't nobody child. So anyway, we're gonna keep going. Um. So yeah, like saying Keisha, she was just like, "Look, you're not gonna mess with me sometimes, and and then put you're not gonna pick me up and put me down when you feel like it. Either you're gonna rock with me or you're not." And I'm totally here for that. Um, and you know, so young Jock had a conversation with um a little Scrappy. And Lil Scrappy basically explained it like, um, allegedly light skinned Keisha was messing around with one of Bambi's friends, man. And because Lil Scrappy is loyal to his woman, and apparently Bambi said, You can't work with Keisha. He decided not to work with Keisha and take down the music or whatever that he was doing with Keisha, whatever. What? You a grown ass man, Scrappy. What does that have to do with you? Scrappy's really going overboard. I feel like Scrappy's trying to prove something to himself and other people that he can be faithful to Bambi. So that's why he's doing everything that she says. But that just doesn't make any sense. Bambi, why do you... I know that's your homegirl, but why do you give a damn that much? Oh, you worried about Scrappy messing with her? That's that's what it is? Oh, God. Why people be with people and they don't really trust them? Why? Because that's, that's nothing but a trust move, baby. You, you're showing that you clearly don't even trust little Scrappy. So why are you even being bothered with them? Why do people waste their time in relationships when, when, when they don't trust their partner? Like, I, I don't get it. Uh, anything just to say you got somebody, I guess. Shabba. bye. So anyway, um... <clears throat> And then she actually looks like a deer, Bambi, and, and, and that Whoville mouth, and I just can't. So anyway, um, so, you know, what a stupid reason, right? And Jock thought it was stupid, too, but he didn't say nothing. They went over to go see Mama D. Mama D laid up in the bed. Y'all know she had her fourth surgery, I believe. We praying for Mama D. We love Mama D. Mama D is about the only mama that we like on these shows, because she's just a hoot. She just has fun, and she just say whatever. Really fun um, lady. Um, but she's really going through it. They um, Allegedly, Mama D is a um, drunk. And she's been a drunk. And, you know, they're trying to get her off um, the liquid medicine. And, uh, you know, she's trying to help her out. You know, Ernest still with her. She talked to Ernest like a dog. And, um, you know, hopefully Mama D can put down the alcohol. Because, you know, her health depends on it. We love Mama D around these parks. So... Um, dramatic ass Carly D and her new fake lips. Carly, why did you get your lips done? You look ridiculous. You look like Kim Zosiac. So anyway, um, Carly, her new lips. She asked Spice, Ty, Mimi, Rashida, Erica Dixon. Who else? I think that's it. Um, asked them to meet her at the funeral home, child. And we thought somebody died. She ain't had nothing but some papers in there. She said she's been married for a year to scam a lot more. Her husband. And you know, uh, she's just been going through a lot right now. Dealing with him and dealing with the whole situation. I can only imagine because I was um watching Tasha K. Shouts out to um Unwind with Tasha K. I was watching her video and uh, you know, she had the tea all on on, on Carly's man, um, Mo. And stuff, and you know how he had the scamming truck business or some child. He was just doing all kinds of stuff. I just say, Lord, have mercy. He could have got Carly. Carly, Carly could have went to jail over him, over some stuff she didn't even know about. Oh, that's so sad. Y'all, I'm so scared to get in a relationship. I, I tell you, two to the dome. My Lord. Mm mm mm. But, um, you know, she's going through a lot with him. And, um, you know, she was just like, now she's getting a divorce. And the answer is this really what she wanted to do. I can only imagine. He was controlling her, telling her that she uh, got to um, come in at 2. And, and, and control when can she eat? What can she eat? And, and when she can go to the bathroom? Like at R. Kelly house. I said, Lord. What is wrong with people that want to have that much control over somebody? It's, 
Ooh, a child. There's a lot of people need mental help, I'll tell you. Um So yeah. Carly had a scene with Alexis Sky. Her and Alexis Sky talked. Um Carly's holding on to the whole thing of Alexis Sky allegedly slept with Mo. Um, but Alexis Sky did not admit that. Um, do I think that Alexis Sky slept with Mo? Probably. Don't Alexis sleep with everybody? No shade. She's a pretty girl, but she's lost too. And it doesn't make sense. She's been on every single Love & Hip Hop franchise except for Miami. So watch out, Miami. Watch out, Amara. Watch out, Trina. Because uh, Alexis is coming. Why do you keep dealing with these sorry-ass rappers and, and people in the industry? Girl, go get you a career and find you something to do. I mean, for real. She ain't got no personality. I just be like, my God. Your looks is only going to get you so far, sweetheart. It really is. She had a um, conversation with Akbar V. Who's looking real classy in her confessional. She's looking lovely till she opened her mouth. And, you know, then the gutter snipe seeps out. But uh, she's looking real lovely in her um, confessional. Akbar V. But Akbar V says she's staying out of trouble. She finally got custody of all her kids, but they all spread out still. So, I mean, you know, she not raising them, but okay. Um, so, you know, had a conversation with um, her and her son, one of her sons, and um, Alexis. And um, her baby. Y'all know Alexis' baby has, um, you know, physical challenges and stuff. She's, um, you know, she, she's had a lot going on. She's disabled or whatever. A beautiful little girl. Akbar V, you know, little boy. was a beautiful little boy. Um, and, you know, it was nice to see them get along. But Akbar V was not with Alexis Sky turning up at the event where Carly was. Because it was not Carly's event. How dare you turn up at the gutter snipe fool. Uh, and, and, and Rashida Kirke did nothing to nobody. This season. So, why would you... Turn up, it ain't got nothing to do with Carly. Carly said on site and I spit on your mother and all that kind of stuff. And <sighs> Carly and Alexis was able to work it out and, you know, come to some kind of agreement. Neither one of them are fighters. So, I mean, they weren't going to do nothing no way. Okay. Sierra, child. Y'all know Sierra going through this whole court case thing. She going through this whole thing with Shooter. So it's time for Sierra's um, court case, and her attorney is trying to get it, um, get get it uh, prolonged the whole sentencing and stuff, so that they can develop more evidence on um, Shooter's crazy baby mama saying that Sierra allegedly tried to beat the dog shit out of her while she was pregnant, which is just crazy. People are so spiteful and hateful and nasty and awful. We just want to be spiteful, child, please. But these ghetto folks, they'll make you hit them, though. Some of these ghetto folks, you know, you know they preg they know they're pregnant, but they be all up in your face. I want you to hit my the ears. She probably one of them type of people. But Sierra say she ain't do nothing, so she ain't do nothing. Um. So anyway, Sierra, she's there with um BK, who I can't stand, and um. All of a sudden, we see Shooter come up. Shooter and BK dapping. What's up, player? What's up? What's popping? See, I say, well, Shooter, what you here for? She was like, oh, you here to, um, you know, you coming in with me and stuff? You going to testify? She was like, nah, nah. You know I ain't going in that courtroom. You know I ain't doing that. Nah, I just came up here. So, I'm just. So, did you come outside? So, you just came up here to stand outside? Did you just come to taunt me? Did you just come to, to. Want me to tell you all the tea when I leave out the courtroom? I could just call you and tell you what happened. Why did you show up, Shooter? Sierra got Shooter told. BK taken up for Shooter. Talking about, oh, you know, let it go. Calm down, calm down. You tripping and all this kind of stuff. If Shooter would have came in there to be on Sierra's side, Sierra wouldn't even need Carly. Really. Because it's a personal situation, really, with Shooter Sierra and, and the other baby mama. Really. Because the girl just did it to be spiteful, I'm sure. Of some old jealousy tip. And and is Shooter just going to show up for what? 
talking about you know how to do the courtroom and all some old ignorant nigga shit. And and you know, he ended up um walking off and because he got cussed out and I don't blame Sierra. Who does that? Why'd you even come, sir? Oh God. Mm mm. So meanwhile, we got Carly in the van. Y'all know she's supposed to be there for Sierra. Carly in the van, they in mad traffic. Carly gets out and ripping and running. Allegedly, Sierra, apparently, allegedly, Sierra did not tell her the exact courtroom she was in. I'm sure it was huge up there. I'm sure it was confusing. When it comes to certain stuff like that, I get confused too. Child, I don't know what that name. Child, I don't know. I just plop my ass down somewhere and eat a sub sandwich. Tired of all this walking. So, um, you know, by the time Carly figured out where Sierra was, Sierra was done. She was out, and they was able to prolong the case. So Sierra mad. She had a scene with with uh, Bambi. Her and Bambi are friends. I don't, I don't get. I don't feel like Bambi's anybody friend. It's just something about her. It's the same. I feel the same way about Bambi. How I feel about Princess Love from um, Ray J's wife. Just you know, no personality really. It's just you know, kind of a nasty disposition. Just a little hateful. You can't really talk to her. Just dry. And, you know, just stank attitude, just off putting, just, you know, not really social and, you know, ugh, ugh, bye. So, anyway, um, just do whatever, stand by your man while he dog you out, but you still stand by him. Homegirl's trying to have your back, but you, you know, you're going to stick by your man and he dog you out again. And you said, yeah, that whole thing. So, um,. Uh, Bambi <laughs> and, and Sierra meet up. They're trying to close for something. And Sierra telling Bambi how upset she is with um, Carly. She didn't show up. She was supposed to be there for me. And I'm the glam bar owner. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. And I was just like, girl. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Honestly, um, and, and Sierra said she also uh, apparently found out that Carly was somehow taking pictures with Stevie J somewhere. Posted up. She was supposed to be in there. But I don't know, but the cameras, uh, we saw Carly ripping and running, Carly and her new lips. We saw her ripping and running up and down the street trying to find the courtroom, Sierra, so I don't know. I don't know. Um... Honestly, I understand why they're both irritated with each other. I understand why Sierra was upset about this. This is a serious matter. Um, but to Carly, her matter is a serious matter too. She with a lunatic. So um, honestly, I think that this is the perfect, uh, you know, time to say that you know, the words of Beyonce: "Me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found out." And it ain't no need to cry. I took a vow that from now on, I'm going to be my own best friend. Facts. Sometimes you got to be your own best friend. Sometimes you got to ride solo dolo. People got their own stuff going on. And this is a situation where both Carly and Sierra, as friends, are going through their own separate foolishness. It takes up a lot of their lives. So they really don't have time to be there for one another. But Sierra's just super emotional right now. And Carly's kind of numb. To her situation, it, it probably comes off as she's um, not as affected, but it's because she's been in her situation longer. And see, this is new for Sierra. This is, you know, a thing. So that's why, um, you know, and, and they just shouldn't. You, sometimes you can't put a lot of weight on your friends, especially when they're going through their own stuff. Sometimes you just got to stick it out and work it out the best way you can by yourself or, you know, with your team of people and not depend on your friends for it, you know. I don't know. So, who had an event? Was it Sierra? I don't know. Somebody had an event. Rashida showed up. Everybody pretty much showed up. Um... You know, Sierra went over to go talk to Carly. Well, Carly went up to go talk to Sierra. Sierra ignored her. You know, um, she was just like, Carly, like, why you didn't show up for me today, friend, at court? 
And, you know, Carla was just like, child, I tried to. She was like, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what part you was in. She was like, okay, child, okay. She was like, okay, so you, but you there for me, right? You my friend, right? Carla was like, yeah, you my girl. Was like, uh-huh, okay. So then Carla went over there to talk to Rashida. <coughs> I was kind of talking crap about Sierra. Saying something. What's she saying? Um... Think she was supposed to be somewhere where she wasn't, or was talking to somebody when she was something. Anyway, Sierra, it wasn't nothing for Sierra to go over there and say to uh, confront her about it. But of course, she was. She went over there confront Carla. They got into a child before I knew it. Sierra mushed Carly so hard her wig almost flew back. I saw the glue on the sides. That was one of the hardest mushes I've ever seen in my life. She mushed the hell out of um. That child, Carly. I said, Lord. Sierra was hot, child. Of course, they didn't get the fight, but next week it looks like Sierra going. Sierra really trying to take Carly out, child. And we all know Carly ready to but talk, child. Carly ain't going to fight nobody. So I was just like, Lord, Jesus. It just got. I hate it got to that point between them. Because I actually like Sierra and Carly together. Um. You know, the, the, it's just feelings involved, and, and Sierra's really hurt, and she's stressed out, and she's kind of just taking that out, out on other people. But Sierra, chill out. But Carly don't need all that. Carly is dealing with a fool, okay? And Mr. Mo, allegedly. You got rid of your fool, which was Shooter. Carly is, is in the midst of getting rid of hers. So, give her a break. And break off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. With that said, I'm Mr. Sherlock. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at this King's World on Instagram and Twitter at this King's World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>